Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is one of those series that is most requested on my channel and a lot of you want to learn RxJS and think that it's too complicated or complex. But um, trust me, it's actually very simple. I'll try and make all the use cases, all the operators, everything about RxJS uh, explained to you in a very simple, easy to understand understand and also uh, we'll do a lot of use cases with angular so this is mainly with angular so uh, but the same applies to any rxjs um, usage that you would see in react or Vue for that matter so that being said let's get started so today what i'm going to cover for you is observable right observables are the core fundamentals of any modern frameworks like angular react Vue, and much more especially when you talk about angular Angular uses a lot of heavy uh, observables for most of its uh, features like forms, routing, HTTP and much, much more. So I thought it's a good idea for you to learn about observable first and see in details and then learn about RxJS operators because that would be your foundation. That being said, let's get started. This is the part three. Make sure you check out the first two parts in the series as well. So you get a foundation and understanding of RxJS. Let's get started. All right, so before I get started, uh, I request you to please check out the complete tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. I'm planning around close to 30 plus tutorials on this with live examples and use cases. Let me know if you have certain uh, use cases in mind that I want, I, you want me to cover, I can do that for you. Also, please do subscribe. Please do ask your doubts in the comment section. Also, a request if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so this is the third episode uh, where we are learning about observables. So let's talk about observables for a minute. So what are observables? Observables are something that emits data over a period of time, right? Compare this with a regular variable that you have. If you add some variable, it will always have a static value. Or if you make a HTTP call and get the data, so the value will always be static. But with observables, whenever there is change in data, you would get that automatically emitted. And that's why we say that observables emit data over a period of time. We'll see that with examples. So don't worry if you are not following theory too much, we'll do practicals that will also make you clear. But stay with me. These are some of the words that you would hear a um, little tricky maybe for beginners, but I'll try to make it easy for you. So first point, observables will always emit data over a period of time. Observables needs to be subscribed, else it will not do anything on its own. Remember, this is a very, very important point because just by creating an observable, it will not do anything in your application. Every observable needs to be subscribed, right? We'll see that now. An observer, he has three methods, right? So for to, when you subscribe, you get an observer. Observer has three methods mainly. One is next, one is complete, and one is error, okay? So these are the three operators, three methods that an our observer will have. Like I mentioned, Angular uses observables extensively under the hood for routing, forms, and almost all the features that Angular has, okay? So right now, let's get into hands-on, and I will try and do everything from scratch so you can follow and code along with me. And remember, friends, the best way to learn is to start coding with me. So when you code with me, you will learn. I can help you better if you are stuck, okay? That being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new component for you uh, where we will do all this, um, operator learning so i'm going to say rxjs learning any you can give any component name that's up to you let's give it a minute so it's done so we have our rxjs learning so if you open the component it has nothing just a selected template url and ng on it which is empty okay so why don't we just throw in a route so that we can just add and create from scratch so here I'm, I'll say rxjs learning and we'll point the component and say xjs learning component. Okay, so we have added it to our route. 
and we have our basic component let's get this started ng serve okay let's give it a couple of seconds to compile and build and the screen will come up in the meanwhile if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do so i always encourage you to reach out to me in the comment section that is the best and fastest way to reach out to me if you're stuck i can help you with any doubts that you might have Alrighty, let's give it a minute. In the meanwhile, the screen will come up here. Let's close other one. Right. Okay, so it's compiled successfully. All good. Now let's just reload our application. And it's good. So I can just point to my RxJS learning route. And it would come here. Right, because it's empty right now. So, okay. Or I think we need to add that. Uh, in the it's in the users right so we need to remove this here and add it to the outside path so that way we don't need to have reference to users okay so let's copy it again one more time go to our application and point this here so it says rxjs learning works for easy and simple way i'm going to remove few things so from which we learned in the content projection I'm going to comment this off. So I'm trying to keep it as fresh and as clean so that you get to learn from scratch. Okay. Uh, that being said, now we have it here. Okay. So I'm going to get headline commented. All right. So this is good. Okay. And let's comment this also. Okay. Perfect. So now you have only the component that works. So this is the basic thing that you would also get started. All I've done is created a component and added it to the route. Okay, that's the basic thing that you can do. Now let's close this. Let's go to our RxJS learning component. So it's if you see here, this is the basic initial setup that Angular CLI will generate. Now we are learning about RxJS operator and not operator actually observable today. Okay, so that's the basic thing that you should be aware of before starting to work with anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and define that first. So what I'm going to need is I'll define one variable here and let's call it agents. Okay, we are calling it agents and then I'm going to import observable. If you see when I type this, it imports from observable from RxJS. So now we are creating an observable. Okay, so now we are going to say that this is an of type so once you define an observable, you are going to define the type of it. In this case, I'm saying it's a string, right? So now let's learn how to create an observable from scratch. So for that, I'm going to say this dot agents, right? Equal to new observable. So I'm saying it's a new observable. Okay. And what exactly it will do? It would be a method. Okay. It would be a method. So if you see here, it's a method. And now we are going to say, here we are going to say new observable and it would be a function call and it would give us a subscriber. Okay. Subscribe subscriber. Okay. Method. I'm creating a new observable and assigning those values to a variable, which is agents and that agents is of observable type string. Okay. So basically this will have the observable, which has the value strings. Now let's put it throw in a try catch condition try catch okay so I'm just throwing a try catch block now every subscriber I told you will have observable will this is our observer basically or you can actually you should call it a observer okay observer so every observer will have three methods I told you observer dot next that means what is the next value you want to pass and then we are going to say observer dot next send next value let's say mark just to make sure that we are also including we are not forgetting the girls okay so we have so what this is doing is over a period of time it will emit three values right this observable will emit three values first ram then mark then sita if there is something going wrong here we can observer dot error. This is the error that we are catching. Okay. 
So this is a simple observable that we created from scratch. Mostly, if you talk about Angular or any modern framework, they will give you observable. But I'm teaching you this because you should have an understanding of how to create an observable and how to process that data. So now see, we have an agents variable, which is an observable of strings. It has all these values. And I told you, observer, observ an observable is useless unless you subscribe to it. So say this dot agents dot subscribe, right? So you get the data and you can do a console log the data and see whether you're getting the correct data or not. All right, so this is the simplest getting started for creating an observable from scratch using observable from RxJS and displaying the data. Let's see that. If you open console, you would see, okay, cannot set properties is super admin. Okay, forget about that. That's not related to this code. If you see here, these are the values that we are getting. Okay, so now that error is from the other uh, component. So don't worry about that. Um, I was working on some other code, which is this, which is the content child projection code. So it's coming from this error. So I'm going to comment that line of code. So you don't see that errors and not get confused. Excellent. So now if you're seeing, you shouldn't be seeing that error anymore. Okay. So you see the values that are emitted over a period of time. That is Ram, Mark and Sita. Now that was the basic thing about creating an observable using RxJS, right? There are other utilities. I will cover that over a period of time. Now, now let's say you want to display these values. And how will you display that values? Say, for example, I'm going to take a string value, say agent name, and I'll say string. And we can just assign that here. Say this dot agent name is equal to data. Okay. And in the template, you can add ngif agent name then display the agent name. Okay. Alrighty. So now let's see. So it is showing you the last value. Okay. That was emitted. If you see the code again, we created an observable. It emitted all these values and the last one it is showing. How do I know that it emitted all these values? So let's quickly put a set timeout. Okay or we can say set interval, okay? And here we are going to give a callback and then followed by the number of seconds that we would want to give. So I'm saying after three seconds, it should give the next value, okay? And then I'll copy the same thing again and paste it here and we'll move this third data here, okay? So now see, after every three seconds, it would give us the value. So go back here. Now it is showing Ram. Now it is showing Sita, right? So because it was three seconds, so it showed both. So I'm going to make it six. So now see, first it would be Ram. Then it would be Mark. Now it is Sita, right? So that is a simple basic example of an observable that you can develop using RxJS, right? It's an observable of type string that we are we have created and we are processing the value using we are capturing we are subscribing to this observable to get this value assigned right simple as that right so i'll stop here for today i don't want to take too many things but trust me everything is as simple as i'm showing you right now okay so today we learned about observables right because going forward everything that you do will be related mostly with some or the other way with observable. So get comfortable with it. Learn how to create an observable. Learn to create how to create the observable, how to subscribe to it and how to get the value displayed in the template. OK, so that being said, um, that's the third lesson that I want to cover for you today, which is about observable. In the next session, I'm going to cover about RxJS operators and then going forward, we'll break down each operator into detailed use cases. I hope you will enjoy this series with me as much as I'm enjoying creating it for you. 
please do subscribe to my channel if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you again for joining see you in the next episode we will learn about rxjs operators thank you